August 2022 Full Moon, August 11th brings a full moon in the astrological sign, Aquarius, and has a history rooted in nature. This full moon also signals that it's a time for appreciation and gratitude for what you have and where you've come from. The full moon in August was known by early Native American tribes as the sturgeon moon because the large sturgeon fish of the Great Lakes and other major lakes were more easily caught at this time of year. The green corn moon, the grain moon and the fruit moon, are also names of the August full moon as they are all inspired by various crops that can be harvested in August. The green corn ceremony was typically held in late June or early July and the mature green corn ceremony would take place 45 days later, according to Cherokee.org. Europeans call this full moon, as the end of summer approaches, the barley moon, for the harvesting and threshing of the barley. This is a good month to focus on your spiritual and physical health. It's the time to harvest what you can now to put aside for later use. This moon is also known as the fruit moon because this is the time of year when the apples, Plums, peaches, grapes and berries are at their ripest and heavy with juice. Just as the fruit turns to its most saturated hue will the sky begin to arrest us with displays of opulent color, signaling the days turning shorter. Even as we enjoy nature's visual display coupled with a perfectly ripe piece of fruit in the warm summer night, other perfectly ripe fruit is falling onto the ground uneaten and beginning to decay, representing the many stages of life. During this full moon of August, take the advice of Native Americans and connect with what brings you joy and share that with others. Don't overthink. Just find pleasure in your ability to be you. Your focus will be to balance your mind and body through creativity, through play, and through movement. The full moon represents our emotional body and subconscious. The part of us that we typically keep hidden or buried under our social personality. During the time of a full moon, all of that comes to the surface, asking to be seen. This is why we feel extra emotional, or as some say, the crazy comes out. The energy of the full moon is heightened at this time, and emotions, feelings, mental processes, dreams etc. are all amplified. When the sun and moon oppose each other during a full moon, it can cause tension and awkward friction, but at the same time, bring a greater expansion of visions and potential possibilities. This is a compelling time of gratitude, gracefully acknowledging the beauty of life itself, and all you have brought into existence. Once you start looking up and observing the full moon, you'll want to get outside more to get a better view. This is a wonderful time to enjoy the fresh air and gain perspective. Remember how tiny you are, how your small, significant life is connected to all others. Recite the words to that ancient lullaby, I see the moon and the moon sees me, God bless the moon and God bless me. The Perseids meteor shower in August will peak between August 11th and 12th. Meteor showers symbolize beauty rising from ashes. They also represent the spiritual insights and wisdom gained from looking deep within the shadows of ourselves and our world. In ancient Greece, an astronomer named Ptolemy claimed that meteor showers are shooting stars that would occur when the gods opened up the sky to watch the humans below. People started wishing upon the stars in hopes that the gods were listening at that very moment. The Perseids is one of the best meteor showers to observe, producing up to 60 meteors per hour at its peak. It is produced by comet Swift Tuttle, which was discovered in 1862. The Perseids are famous for producing a large number of bright meteors. There are a number of positive changes that often occur after this amazing meteor shower. It's a time when you're likely to be inspired to find an innovative solution to a troubling problem. Even though you may have been muddling along not knowing whether to change careers, make a commitment to a new relationship or move to a new city, suddenly your vision as to what to do is clear. Both events in August occur in the astrological sign of Aquarius. This is a great time for people working in humanitarian and emergency situations, for it helps you to focus on the needs of the group and of the moment, rather than being personally affected by what is going on around. Because the emotional qualities governed by the moon are influenced by an air sign, you may be at times detached or inclined toward objectivity in your emotional responses. This sign is perhaps the least emotional of the zodiac, 
and consequently, you are likely to be more comfortable with words and ideas, than you are with the more sentimental, or passionate, dimensions of life. Join us at www.secretserendipity.com where great insights reveal deep discoveries. Where great insights can impact future choices and attitudes. Where we strive for a deeper understanding of the power of the universe.